allowed 23.4 to their opponents coming off a 7 loss to West Central last week. Campbellton to Fairmont is 1 and 4 and in conference play they are 1 and 2. They were beaten last week by the Underwood Rockets 47 to nothing. So far they're averaging 11.6 points a game and have allowed an average of 30 points a game to their opponents. Coach Reed Johnson is in his 13th year as head coach of the Rebels. Richard Risbrood is in his 15th year at Hillcrest Lutheran Academy. And we will return with our starting lineups, but first, this two-minute timeout. The Rebels of Campbell tend to Fairmont will kick the ball off. Jason Annan, the senior, will do the kicking for the Rebels, and the Comets will touch the football first. Evan Newman will drop back deep on the far side of the field. Ryan Nordland on the near side, and Paul Quam will position himself between those two and about 10 yards ahead of them on the Hillcrest side of the field as we are set to begin this homecoming game, 1992 for the Hillcrest Comets as they take on the Rebels of Campbellton to Fairmont. And here we go. Annan gets the go-ahead from the officials, and he boots a short kick. Quam is going to take it at about the 13-yard line, head right up the middle to the 20, has a lot of room to the near side at the 30-yard line, and Paul pulled down at the 33-yard line where the Comets will go to work for their first possession of the afternoon. Craig Carter made the stop for Campbellton to Fairmont. Here's the way the Hillcrest offense lines up at center, 240. A junior, Brooks Walter, number 64. At right guard, number 76, Darren Heidbretter, a senior, 165. The left guard is Chris Mond, 77, a senior, 175 pounds. The wide receiver will be Matt Erickson, and he is number 21, a senior, 165. Tight end is Scott Hansen, number 44, a junior, 185 pounds. They come out in the I formation. Andrew hands it off to Newman, has room to the outside, gets to midfield, and is cut down as he lunges close to first down yardage at the 37 or 38-yard line. Jim Bertram made the tackle for Campbellton to Fairmont. Looks like he's going to be a little short of the first down yardage, and they are going to bring the sticks in to measure. The ball is very close to where the first down marker is. We'll complete the starting lineups here. Nathan Andrew to senior 160, the quarterback, number 12, Paul Quam, the fullback, number 26, the 155-pound senior. And the tailback is Evan Newman, number 5, a junior, 185. The flanker, Ryan Nordland, number 42. Ryan is a junior, 165 pounds. It's going to be second down and less than a yard. Hillcrest starting on their own 33-yard line and a 9-yard gain on first down by Evan Newman who has just done an outstanding job running the football for the Comets this year. Comets send Matt Larson now wide to the near side, senior 155 at that flanker spot. Here's Quam on second and short off the right side. He's pushed back and will not, I don't believe, get the first down. And you have to give a lot of credit up front to that defensive line. Darren Kaler was there. Jim Bertram, Jason Annan all there, and it's going to be third down and short. They really got off the ball quickly and stopped Quam short of the first down, controlling that line of scrimmage on second and short. Now on third down, Ryan Nordland goes wide to the right side. The backs are split behind Endrude. He'll take the snap turn, give it off to Newman. He's tripped up, but he gets the first down as he falls forward to the 36-yard line, and it will be a gain of about two and a first down for the Comets. Mark Keller making the stop for Campbellton to Fairmont but Newman getting the necessary yardage to get a new set of downs at the Rebel 36-yard line. Just underway in this homecoming football game at Hillcrest. Come on out and take in some of the action this afternoon. It's a beautiful day for football. You'll want to wear a light jacket or a sweatshirt, but we're dry, and that helps a lot. Flanker to the left side. Andrew gives it off to Newman, coming wide, now cutting back and going ahead to the 32-yard line before being brought down by the Rebels. It'll be a gain of four yards on the play. Finally chasing him down. There is Jim Bertram, the junior tackle. Second down at about six. Newman with three carries, 15 yards. Paul Quam has carried once and was stopped cold. Ryan Nordland brings the play in from Coach Risbrut. Comets trying to bounce back from that loss last week to West Central, which ended their three-game winning streak. We're going to get a look at the Comets against Underwood on Wednesday. They face the Rockets in Underwood, and we'll have that game for you right here on 1250 KBRF. Second down and six out of the eye. Andrew rolling in trouble, escapes the grasp of Carter, keeps the ball, and gets out of bounds at about the 26-yard line. He's going to be close again to first down yardage. 
Boy, Carter had a good rush as he was able to fight off the block of Darren Heidbreder on the left side and put some pressure on Endrude. It is a first down. He got the necessary yardage to get a fresh set of downs, a gain of six for Nathan Endrude. And the Comets continue to move the football on their first possession of the ball game. Down to the Rebel 26-yard line. Rebels coming out in a four-man front. Darren Kaler, the left end. Jim Bertram, the left tackle. Casey Barth, the right tackle. And Craig Carter is the right end. Fake to Newman. They come back on the counter to Quab, And Quab is going to be driven back. He's going to lose yardage as he ran right into the hands of Darren Kaler on the near side. And it will be a loss of three or four yards. They'll spot the ball all the way back to the 30-yard line. So it is a four-yard loss. A little counter play. But Taylor stayed at home and wrapped up Quam for a loss. We may see Andrew go to the air for the first time now on second down at 14. Ball spotted on the 30-yard line of the Rebels. Jason Ennen and Mark Keller are the linebackers. Curtis Patrick, Mike Hills, and Jason Kelsch are the deep backs for Campbellton to Fairmont, and they may be tested right now. Staggered backs behind the quarterback, Andrew. Now Andrew in trouble. He gets away from Carter on the run, and he'll throw the ball up the sideline and throw it incomplete. Well, a lot of faking in the backfield. They faked to the wing back and then came back with a fake to Quam and the quarterback, Andrew, found himself in trouble and had to throw that ball away. Carter, again, was all over him. He's playing a good game in this opening quarter on that defensive line. So Andrew misfires on his first pass attempt, and now it's third down and 14 and a big play for both teams. Wide to the near side comes Matt Larson. Comets have Quam and Newman split in the backfield. Fake to Newman. The ball is loose and it's covered by the Rebels. That was a fake handoff, but he hit the hip on the handoff and it was knocked loose on that exchange and it's recovered by Jim Bertram of Campbellton to Fairmont. And they get the ball on the 32-yard line. Their own 32-yard line off the fumble. So we get our first look at the Campbellton to Fairmont offense. Quarterback Mike Hills is a junior, 140 pounds. Jason Ennen, 41. Mark Keller, 42 in the backfield. This is Ennen taking the inside handoff, trying to go wide, and he's going to be wrapped up after a short gain. On the far side of the field, Darren Heidbretter, the man who got to him first. They'll spot the ball at the 35-yard line. So he got about three yards on the play. Rebels will try to take advantage of the Hillcrest turnover here. Bertram coming up with the recovery. Starting the drive on the 32-yard line, their own 32. It will be second down and seven now from the 35. Hand off to Kaler, and Kaler will get about two yards before he's dropped by Quam. Quam, the linebacker. Third down and a long five for the Rebels. Kaler is averaging about four yards a carry. Keller about four a carry and Annan about four a carry. Keller usually the workhorse though has twice as many carries as the other back. Here's a pass play and it's incomplete. Good coverage on the near side. Trying to get the ball out on the right sideline to Darren Kaler. But the Comets had two players there, David Folden and Ryan Nordland, right on the coverage, and it will bring up fourth down and six. So Hill's misfiring, although he threw the ball well. It was on target. Certainly the only player that had a chance at catching that ball was Kaler. Rebels will punt the football on fourth down and six. Nordland and Newman are deep. Keller will punt. High end over end kick. They're going to watch it bounce and roll out of bounds inside the 20-yard line. And they'll spot it at about the 17. 26 yards on the punt. Hillcrest with their second possession of the first quarter. We have 7-10 to play here in the opening quarter. It's homecoming 1992. The Comets and the Rebels are scoreless right now. And the Hillcrest offense starting deep in their own territory with their second possession of the football game. 
Last year, Hillcrest won 27 to nothing in what was the opening game of the season. Comets come out in an eye formation. Quam the up back. Newman the deep back. He has the football. Jukes the tackler and takes it out to the 25-yard line for a gain of seven or eight yards. Good move by Newman to get away from the linebacker. Jason Ennen and Mark Keller were in on the stop at the 26-yard line. So give Newman eight yards. Second down at two. Comets on their first drive had eight plays before they fumbled the football in Campbell-Tinta territory. 6.40 to go, opening quarter, scoreless so far, second down and two for the 26-yard line. Receiver wide to the left is Larson, out of the eye. This is Newman, has the first down, and is tripped up as he reaches the 30-yard line, and once again, it is Keller making the stop. A gain of four for Newman, and a Comet first down. Newman has carried the ball five times and has 27 yards, so he's up a little over five yards of carry here this afternoon. Big weekend planned here at Hillcrest Lutheran Academy. Homecoming, parents weekend, it's always a big weekend, including, of course, the spiritual emphasis tonight, beginning at 7.20. They have an evening service over at Bethel Church. Some special music and testimonies are part of that. And tomorrow they have a junior varsity football game with Hoffman Kensington. Some volleyball featuring the alumni women against the Hillcrest girls team, or the Hillcrest girls. And they also have uh, some basketball scheduled with the alumni men against the Bible and seminary men. Homecoming rally tomorrow afternoon. Big weekend. Here's a pass on the near side to Nordland. And it will be a short gainer. Just a quick pass out on the left side. Covered well by Keller and Hills and Ennen. But Nordland making the catch, getting about three yards on the play. Second down and seven. First completion of the afternoon. Ball out at the 33-yard line. Under six minutes to play, opening quarter. So far, a scoreless football game. Matt Larson wide to the near side. Again, they're in the I formation. Andrew takes the snap, wheels, gives it off to Newman, who slips, making his cut, and goes down without contact at the 35-yard line, picking up a couple of yards. And it will bring up third and five. Just shy of the 35-yard line, where they say Newman went down. So most likely a passing situation here. Andrew one out of two for three yards throwing the football. Threw on the run under pressure from Craig Carter, the defensive end, on his first pass attempt, and then just completed that short pass on first down a moment ago. Pitch out, Quam coming wide, and Quam will be grabbed by the shirt and thrown to the ground, and a good play by Darren Kaler. A couple of good defensive ends for this Campbellton to Fairmont team, and a two-yard gain for Quam, and it will bring up a fourth down play. Fourth down and a long three for the first. Line of scrimmage is the 37-yard line. Four minutes, 40 seconds to play in the opening quarter. Scoreless football game. Hills and Keller drop back deep for Campbell Tint to Fairmont. Awaiting Newman's punt. And the long snapper is David Folden. For the Comets, Folden snap is right there. Newman, a lot of time, gets the kick away. It's a low kick. Keller will field it. It goes through his legs, and there's a battle for the ball, and the Comets have recovered. Went right through his hands, through his legs, and the Comets on the coverage were right there. I'm not sure it was a Quam who was on top of the ball. I think it was Quam who fell on top of the football at the 18-yard line. So the Comets will get it on the fumbled punt. That's a uh, a muff, actually, on the punt. So Hillcrest with the first break deep in the opponent's territory as they start here on the 18-yard line. Andrew rolling in trouble, passes it off to Quab, and it is incomplete. And an alert play there by Jason Ennin, who picked up the football, thinking it could be a fumble, as it might have been a pass behind the quarterback, but it, even though it was behind the line of scrimmage, it was a pass ahead of where Andrew was, but you've got to give Carter credit again. He was all over Andrew, and Andrew was lucky to get rid of the ball. So it goes as an incompletion, and it will be second down and 10 from the 18-yard line. 
Connett's t- trying to take advantage now of the muffed punt. Hand off to Newman. He has a hole. He tries to leap over a couple of people, but he goes down after a gain of about five yards. Tackle made by Jason Ennen once again. Curtis Patrick, the cornerback, helping him out. That's a gain of five for Newman. Third down five, ball at the Rebel 13-yard line. Three and a half minutes to play. Opening quarter, quick pace here to this homecoming football game thus far. Larson flanks to the right side. Newman and Quam the setbacks, lined up in the eye behind Andrew. Andrew turns, gives it off to Newman. Trying to go wide, but Carter fights off the block of Quam and is able to bring him down on the far side of the field, well short of the first down. Newman may have picked up a yard on that play, but it's going to bring up fourth down and four. Ball spotted at the 12-yard line of Campbellton to Fairmont. Clock ticking down to the three-minute mark. Nordland brings a play in. And on fourth down and four, let's see what Coach Risbrut has decided to do. Newman and Quam will split in the backfield behind Andrew. Flanker to the right is Nordland. Quick drop back, and Andrew now dumps it off to Newman. Newman to the outside. He could get into the end zone, and he does. And the Comets score on fourth down and four. They fake the little dump pass over the middle to Mike Levang, and then Newman just kind of skirted out into the flats, and Andrew flipped the ball to him, and it was easy pickings from there for Newman as he takes it into the end zone. From 12 yards out, they convert the fourth down play into six points. And a well-executed play by the entire Hillcrest offense. Andrew bluffing the pass and then getting it to Newman. And once he gets into open field with the ball, well, you don't have much of a chance. 2.41 to go in the opening quarter as the Comets line up to go for two. They'll split the backs again. Larson comes wide to the left side. Andrew will turn, fake to Newman, and gun it into the end zone. And he has his man for two points. And that is Michael Levang in the corner of the end zone. Good play action fake. And the Comets with 2.41 left in the first have an 8 to nothing lead on the Rebels. Evan Newman will kick the football away. Mike Hills is lined up deep to receive it. Kaler and Keller about five yards ahead of him, and Newman drills that one. Falling down Hills, now he picks it up at the two-yard line, over the 5 to the 10, 15, and cut down as he reaches the 17 or 18-yard line. And the Comets with good coverage on that play as Matt Erickson was the man who will get credit for the tackle. Rebels start on their own 18-yard line. After muffing the punt and giving the Comets good field position, the defense did a nice job holding them on the first three downs, but then on the fourth down and four play, they broke it for 12 yards on the touchdown on the pass to Newman. Slipping, trying to make a cut out of the backfield, but... Not successful doing so is Keller, and he was buried by Heidbretter after he got a yard out to the 19-yard line. Keller's first carry of the afternoon. That's only the fourth play from scrimmage by Campbellton to Fairmont, and they have only six yards on their four plays. Offensively, the Rebels have been averaging 174 yards rushing per game, a little under four yards a carry on the average through their first five games. On second down, pitch out. Keller gets a good block, heads to the outside, twisting, turning. The ball comes loose, and I believe that Rebels are on it back at the 20-yard line, but they wound up losing about five yards after the ball was popped loose, and it's Hills, the quarterback, who was trailing the play, who was able to cover it. So they wind up picking up about a yard on that play. Keller with a very determined run, and one of the Comets came up and really delivered a pop to jar that ball loose. And I didn't get the number. It could have been either Newman or Nordland. And we're going to have a timeout taken here. So we'll take a break with a minute 42 remaining in the opening quarter. Timeout on the field. It's homecoming for the Hillcrest Comets. They have the early lead, 8 to nothing over the Rebels of Campbellton to Fairmont. Timeout has been taken here at the Hillcrest homecoming game. Just a great day for football. We invite you to come out. We still have three-plus quarters going in this game. And we remind you to stay tuned for another homecoming football game tonight on 1250 KBRFAM as the Otters of Fergus Falls High School host the Green Wave of East Grand Forks. That game gets started at 7.30, and we're on the air at 7.15 with our pregame show with Coach Don Stuvey. 
Now Hills will line up in the shotgun, and he has a back with him in and takes the snap, looks to throw on third and eight, puts it up the sideline, and the ball is going to be broken up. Newman was back there on the coverage, and the intended receiver on the play was Mark Keller out of the backfield, and it will bring up fourth down at eight. So a putting situation. Hills lining up in the shotgun for the first time this afternoon. On fourth down, Keller will punt. And it will be Nordland and Newman back at the 30-yard line. The Comet 30 awaiting the punt. Jason Ennen is the long snapper for Campbellton to Fairmont. Good rush by Hillcrest, but Keller gets the kick away. It's a high kick, and it's going to be fielded by Newman, who hesitated and then looked upfield, saw that Hills was a few steps away, and he made the uh, catch and then tried the return, but Hills was right there to cover him and prevent him from advancing the football. No gain on the return, but the Comets will have it first down on their own 30-yard line, leading 8 to nothing with a minute 28 remaining in the opening quarter of play. So the Hillcrest offense will return to the field. At Rebel defense, Darren Kaler and Craig Carter, the ends, who have both had good games. Jim Bertram and Casey Barth, the tackles. Jason Ennett and Mark Keller are the linebackers. Enrude will pitch it out. Quam coming wide. He's going to stop and throw, and he's got a man wide open. It is Nordland. Nordland will take it to the 20, to the 10, and into the end zone for the score. And that is a 50-yard touchdown play on the halfback pass. Curtis Patrick, they were... Coming to the near side on the sweep, and Patrick, the cornerback, took a couple of steps up, just enough to let Nordland by. Quam got him the ball, and even though Ryan had to wait for the pass for a moment, Patrick could not recover in time to catch him. So a 50-yard pass play from Quam to Nordland. And the Comets now have a 14-0 lead with a minute two to go in the first, and they'll line up for the two-point conversion. Successful with a play-action fake and pass to Michael Levang on their first two-point conversion attempt. They split the backs wide behind Endrood. He will turn, fake to Newman, look to pass, and he'll be crunched and hit for a loss. So this time, the two-point conversion play fails. But the Comets have a 14-0 lead with a minute two to go in the first, and we'll have the Comet kickoff in 30 seconds. Well, I don't know how many passes Paul Quam has attempted this year, but that's one he'll remember, a 50-yard completion on the halfback pass. Winding up with six points at the other end. And now the Comets will kick it away. 18 offensive plays for the Comets, and I have a half dozen for the Rebels here in the first quarter. So the Comets have had the football most of the afternoon. Newman will kick it away. Hills is the deep back. Had a little trouble fielding the kickoff after the last Hillcrest touchdown. Another line drive kick by Newman. It's going to be Hills on the near sideline, picking it up inside the five. And he'll be cut down at about the six-yard line as the Comets had very good coverage. And Chris Mon is the man who will get credit for the tackle. Actually, you can spot him at the seven-yard line. But a tough kick to return as Newman again hit a line drive, and this time it hit at about the 10-yard line and ricocheted down inside the five over near the sideline. I think Hills had half a mind to let it roll and see if it went out of bounds. It was not going to do that, so he decided he better play the ball, and by then Mon was right there to bring him down after a very short return. So the Rebels start with their backs against their own goal line, and here's the handoff off the right side, up over the 10 to about the 12-yard line. Jason N in the fullback, at least getting his teammates some room to work with as he picked up five or six yards on the play. Levang and Folden in on the stop. It will be a gain of six and call it second down and four. Hennon carrying the ball for the second time this afternoon. He has nine yards on his two carries. On second and four. Wing to the left side. Pitch out goes that way. This is Kaler trying to turn the corner. And the Comets with very good pursuit. Folden was there to run him out of bounds on the far side. Short of the first down, he picked up a yard or two on that play. Good pursuit by the Comets to the far side of the field. Clock stopping with the play going out of bounds with 14 seconds remaining. Give him two yards. It will be third and two. 
Ball right on the 15-yard line. 14-0. Comets have the lead. Hills, the quarterback, will take the snap, hand it off, off the left side, tough going, and short of the first down as the Comet defensive line, again, off the ball quickly, and Quam, the linebacker there to plug the gap. Hannon is going to be stopped after a short gain of a yard. It will be fourth down and one, and that is the end of the first quarter of play here at the Hillcrest Lutheran Academy Field. It's homecoming 1992, and the Comets have a 14 to nothing lead after one. We'll be back with second quarter action in one minute. Well, after one quarter of play, it is 14-0. The Hillcrest Comets have the lead, and right now on fourth down and one deep in their own territory, the Rebels will have to give up the football. At least they are lining up to do so, as Mark Keller will punt the ball. Line of scrimmage, the Rebel 16-yard line. Keller with a low line drive kick, hits right at midfield, rolls to the far side inside the 30-yard line. Newman watches it roll, and it will roll out of bounds finally at the 28 or 29 yard line just underway second quarter ball at the 28 Comets have scored on their last two possessions took them only one play on their last possession covering 50 yards on that halfback pass Offensive line with Brooks Walter at center. Chris Mon and Darren Heidbretter are the guards or tackles, whichever you want to call them. Matt Erickson, Scott Hansen starting at the end spot. Up the middle, Quam breaks through. First down and more into Campbell Tint to Fairmont territory all the way to the 37-yard line. And a gain of 14 yards on that play. So Quam with his first big gainer of the day been some tough going for Paul up the middle on his first couple of carries but that time boy the hole opened up right off the left side and he carried it for 14 first down at the Campbellton to Fairmont 38 yard line out of the eye formation fake to Quam this time on the counter Newman trying to go wide he's out to the outside at the 25 the 20 and cut down inside the 20 by Hills the safety down at the 16 yard line after a gain of 22 yards and it's another Comet first down well they get 14 up the middle and then come back on the sweep around the end for 22 more and quickly that Hillcrest offense has moved the ball deep in Campbell Tint to territory down to the 16-yard line, first down. Again, they come out in the eye. Nordland wide to the right side. Andrude gives it off to Quam, and Quam this time will be taken down after a short gain at the 15-yard line. Patrick and Carter in on the stop. Gain of a yard, second down and nine. Quam has carried five times now for 13 yards and 14 on one carry so you can tell the other three carries haven't netted him much a four yard loss on one play one two and zero is other three on second down Comets break huddle they'll split the backs this time behind Andrew Larson flanker to the right play action fake pass over the middle touchdown Levang right over the middle and right on the money Endrude with that play action fake and he put it in the perfect spot for Levang to come up with it and the Comets have added on to their lead now it is 20 to nothing Endrude completing his third on five attempts today that one for 15 yards to Michael Levang who has now scored eight points as he had the reception on the two-point conversion of the first touchdown and Newman's going to try to kick for the point after at least they're lining up to do that now the holder is Endrood oops somebody moved there's the first penalty flag we've seen Scott Hansen a little quick jumping up to block before the ball was snapped and it will be a five yard mark off against the Comets for illegal procedure well now Newman will have to kick it about five yards further ten and a half minutes to go in the first half and so far, the game has belonged to the Comets. Three touchdown passes, two of them from Endrude. 
and one from Quam on the halfback pass. Newman's kick is blocked as coming up the middle was Mark Keller, and he hit him square in the chest with that kick. Keller was not going to let him get that kick off, and with 10.30 to go here in the first half, it's the Comets 20, the Rebels nothing, and we'll have the Hillcrest kickoff in one minute. Well, a touchback on the kickoff as Newman really got into that one. If there is any wind, and there isn't a big wind, it's blowing from the north, and it was at Evans' back on that kick, and he got into it. He had been kicking low-line drives with the kick the other direction, but this one he got up a little bit, enough to push Hills back into the end zone, and the touchback brings the ball out to the 15-yard line. Wing back to the left side, that's Kaler, and Kaler cuts in lane the block for Ennin. Ennin spinning off a tackle, but... The Comet would not let go of the jersey. That was Heidbretter who had the hold of the jersey from behind, and he stays with him and makes the tackle after a short two-yard gain by Ennin. Second down and eight for the Rebels. 10-10 to go, first half. Three touchdown passes. Newman 12 yards out from Endroot on fourth down. Nordland on a 50-yard reception on the halfback pass from Quam, and then Levang with a 15-yard touchdown from Endroot. The one two-point conversion on the play-action pass to LeVang. Otherwise, the two conversion attempts have failed, but it's 20 to nothing. Hillcrest trying to run a little option to the right side, and the Comets stay right with him, and Hills goes down, actually lost a yard. Quam, the linebacker, making the stop on that play. And it will be third down and call it nine. Ball on the 16-yard line of the Rebels with nine and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Hillcrest is at Underwood on Wednesday night. Another Pheasant North Conference game. We'll have that one for you on 1250 KBRFAM on Wednesday evening, 7 o'clock. Two receivers this time wide to the near side, and they run out of the shotgun. Low snap. Hills handles it. Setting, throwing over the middle, and it is incomplete. And it will bring up fourth down. Coverage by Newman, and the intended receiver was Joe Davids, who was lined out, lined up wide to the left side. So it's fourth down and nine, and another punting situation as the Campbellton to Fairmont offense has not been able to muster any type of a drive against the Hillcrest defense. In fact, they are still looking for their first first down. Four times they've been out on the field with that offensive unit. Four times they've been held to three plays and punt. Keller getting the kick away. Nordland watches it say a lot of bounds on the far side. Let's see where they mark it out. I'm going to say it went out at about the 36-yard line. So the Comets will take it first down on their own 36. Leading already in this game, 20 to nothing with 9.01 to go in the opening half. Tailgates to touchdowns tonight, sponsored by KBRF at the middle school parking lot prior to the Fergus Falls High School football homecoming game against East Grand Forks. Schweigert hot dog on a bun, barrel of fun potato chips, and your choice of Coca-Cola Classic or Diet Coke for a buck with all the proceeds going to the Fergus Falls High School Choir for their spring trip to Colorado. So come down starting at 5.30 and join us for tailgates to touchdowns. Newman wide to the right side, gets the first down, still on his feet, all the way to the 25-yard line of Campbellton to Fairmont for a 20-yard gain and a Comet first down. Well, there's no doubt the Comets are dominating the line of scrimmage right now, and they are basically doing what they want to do with the football against the Rebels. Newman out of bounds at the 25. That stops the clock with 8.53 to go here in the first half. 20 to nothing is the score. Last week, Hillcrest was beaten by West Central, an excellent Wildcat team, 33 to 7. Campbellton to Fairmont played into the third quarter against Underwood, but that was it as the Rockets beat him 47 to nothing at 45-point rule in the second half into effect. Here's Quam up the middle, busting a tackle inside the 10 and skirts into the end zone for six more. Good power running that time by Quam. The hole opened at the line of scrimmage, and there was no stopping Quam as he goes 25 yards for the score, and it's now 26 to nothing. The Comets with 8.46 to go in the half. Good, strong run by Quam, who now has 38 yards on six carries, and that's the first rushing touchdown in the football game. The other three have been through the air. Quam has had a part in two touchdowns now, having thrown the 50-yard pass to Nordland on the halfback 
option. Andrew under center as they line up for two. He's going to put it up. Looking in trouble. Now scrambling out of the pocket. Throws it and hits his man in the end zone. And that is Ryan Nordland for two more. And the Comets tack on a 27th and 28th point. And with 8.46 to go in the half, it's Hillcrest 28 and the Rebels of Campbellton to Fairmont nothing. And we'll have the Comet kickoff in 30 seconds. Well, the Comets are wasting no time on their drives. Their last three touchdown drives, one play, 50 yards and a touchdown, four plays, 52 yards and a touchdown, two plays, 45 yards and a touchdown, and Newman boots this one to the end of the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 15-yard line as the Rebels will take it over first down and 10. Try to get something going offensively. They have yet to pick up a first down in this game as the Comet offense has a dominated play and the defense has done the same when they've been on the field. Well, the Rebels are going to have to probably go into that shotgun a little earlier now in their offensive series. They're going with a, a full house backfield here. On first down, they'll keep it on the ground with Keller and Keller off the left side will get two or three as he's tripped up by Levang. And Hansen in on the tackle as well. A gain of three, second down and seven. Keller with his third carry for five yards. On second down and seven from the 18-yard line, 8.20 to go, first half. Again out of the full house. Very tight formation offensively. They're going to keep it on the ground, off the right side, and out to the 20-yard line on that second down run goes Ennen. It will bring up third down and five. Trying to play some power football here and run right at the Comets. Trying to get that offensive line to blow out the defensive line and open up some holes. So Reed Johnson not panicking and going to the air on every down here. Try to get something established. Taylor out to the left side as a wing back. They keep it on the ground, but Annan will not get out of the backfield as Heidbreder is there, wraps him up and drops him for a one-yard loss, and it will be fourth down and six. Good penetration on that defensive line by Mark Heidbreder, or by uh, Darren Heidbreder. And it will be fourth down and six from the 19-yard line. Mark Keller will punt. Newman and Nordland are deep. Fifth time that Keller has been in punt formation. It's a short kick. Bounces, rolls over the 40 and out of bounds at the Hillcrest 37-yard line. And that is where the Comets will start this drive. Again, near midfield on the 37 after three plays and a punt. Well, the Comet offense has been very, very impressive. 77 yards on 10 carries for Evan Newman. 38 yards on 6 for Paul Quam. About 119 total yards on the ground. And add 80 more through the air. So we're closing in on 200 yards. And here's Endrude running out of the pocket. Gets the first down. He's up the sideline to the 25 and ahead to the 21-yard line. Brought down there after a big gain by number 48, Jason Kelsch, the cornerback, the freshman. All the way down to the 21-yard line on that play. 22-yard gain for Endrude. Comets now up over 200 yards in offense. Under seven minutes to play in the first half. They lead it 28 to nothing. And driving for more. Larson wide to the right side. Backs are split. Newman and Quam the setbacks. Quam has it off the left side. And ahead to about the 17-yard line before he's shut down. A gain of four yards on the play. Curtis is there to make the stop along with Casey Barth. Gain of four, second down and six. Quam 42 yards on seven carries. Nordland brings the play in from the near side. 6-10 to go, first half. Comets led 14-0 at the end of one. They've added 14 second quarter points as well. Nordland wide to the right side. They come out in the I formation with Newman the deep back. 
Andrew taking the snap, giving it off to Newman, following Quam right through the hole, and he'll take it all the way to the 15-yard line, and will be very close to another Hillcrest first down. And the spot may give it to him, and it does. Six-yard gain for Newman. Comet first down at the 10-yard line of Campbellton to Fairmont. And now the ball, the nose of the football is inside the 10, so they will not be able to get another first down without getting it into the end zone. So four cracks from the 10-yard line to try to add on to that 28 to nothing lead. Backs are split wide. Pitch out to Newman, coming around the right side. He's at the 5, he makes a cut, and he carries it in for six more. That's a 10-yard touchdown run, a four-play, 43-yard drive, and the Comets now make it 34 to nothing. Evan Newman scoring his second touchdown of the day, one by the pass and now one on the ground, and it comes with 5.27 to go in the first half. And this has been all Hillcrest. Comets elected to try to kick for the point after on their last touchdown. It was blocked by Keller. I would guess they'll go for two here as Andrew breaks huddle, comes up under center. Lining up for the two-point conversion. Quam the lone setback. Andrew passing it over the middle, and it's a converted point after. As we have a pass completion to Matt Erickson. Tacking on two more points, and with 5.27 to go in the first half, it's a 36 to nothing Hillcrest lead, and we'll return with more Comet homecoming action in 30 seconds. Hillcrest Lutheran Academy is a four-year boarding and day high school located in Fergus Falls. Known for its college preparatory curriculum as well as its strong music and sports programs, each class and extracurricular event is presented from a Christian perspective with the objective of honoring God. Well, we have five minutes and 27 seconds yet to play in the first half, and the Comets have a 36 to nothing lead here over Campbellton to Fairmont, and Hillcrest will kick the ball away. That last touchdown drive, four plays, 43 yards, and the 10-yard touchdown run by Evan Newman. Newman will now kick it off last two times. He's booted into the end zone for no return. Line drive kick, Hills backing up in the end zone again, and another touchback. Rebels get it on their own 15-yard line. The Rebels' offense has been totally shut down by the Hillcrest defense. They do not have a first down. I have them for 21 yards in offense, all on the ground, on 12 carries. 0 for 3, throwing the football. Five possessions, three plays, and punt every time. Best starting spot has been the Campbellton to Fairmont 32-yard line. Otherwise, they've been inside the 20. Oh, Eden breaks loose and will take it out to about the 24, 25-yard line. He came off the left side and hit a hole finally, and it looks like he got the first down, and he did. So there is the first first down of the ball game for Campbellton to Fairmont. It comes with 5.22 left in the second quarter as Eden had the hole right at the line of scrimmage and was able to take it for 10 yards. On first down from the 25-yard line. Again off the left side, Innan. And he'll pick up a yard or two. Brooks Walter looked like he was going after the ball on that one. Trying to strip the ball loose, but couldn't do it. Innan gets a yard. Second and nine. A couple of changes up there on the defensive line. Walters at the right tackle spot. Pitch out. Keller going wide and good pursuit again. Mon is there along with Nordland. And Keller got nothing. Third down and nine. Ball remains at the 26-yard line. Four and a half minutes to play. First half. Mike Hills has only thrown three passes in this first half. All of them have been incomplete. 15 running plays by Campbellton to Fairmont. They'll go with a full house backfield on third down and nine. Hills will throw. Rolling out, passing on the run. Broken up. Last second diving in. Larson knocked the ball away as they tried to get the pass to Bertram. And it was spoiled by the secondary. 
So Hills is 0 for 4, throwing the ball, and with 4.07 left in the half, Keller will drop back into punt formation again. Nordland and Newman are deep inside their own 30, back near the 25-yard line. Comets have scored on five straight possessions. Only one penalty flag, and that was on the point after an illegal procedure. We may get one for delay of game here, though. They had an awful long huddle. Keller back. Well, they get it off. Now he's going to fake the punt and look to throw. He fires over the middle, and it is caught. What a nice catch inside Hillcrest territory at the 38-yard line by Hills, who is the quarterback. So Keller hits Hills for the first down. That was a very nice play and a nice catch. Good concentration by Hills to keep possession of the football as they pick up their second first down in the ball game. It's about a 16-yard gain on that pass play, their biggest play from scrimmage. And Keller completes the first ball of the day for Campbellton to Fairmont. And on the 38-yard line now of Hillcrest, Hills will put it in the air on a play-action pass, and it is incomplete on the far side of the field. Second down, 10, trying to get it to tight end Carter on a little square out, but failing to do so. 3.37 left. First half. 36-0, the Comets in control of this football game. Ball on the Hillcrest 38-yard line. First penetration of Hillcrest territory by Campbellton to Fairmont today. Out of the shotgun, Hills rolling left. Now trying to scramble out of the pocket, dumps it off to Ennin, takes it inside the 35 and ahead to the 34-yard line. Picked up about four yards on that play. Hills with his first completion of the afternoon. Third down and six. And in second catch of the year. Mark Keller has been the favorite target of Hills so far in the five games that the Rebels have played. He has caught six passes for 62 yards. But all of the Rebels' scoring has been done on the ground. They have not thrown for a score this year. Keller in motion. Pitch out right side going wide. Keller. Keller has room, has the first down, and takes it all the way to the 25-yard line before being tackled by number 21, Matt Erickson. So it's another first down for Campbellton to Fairmont and a gain of about eight yards on that pass play, or on that uh, run, rather, by Keller. Second first down rushing, third of the ball game. All on this drive. Ball just shy of the Hillcrest 25 with 2.40 to play first half. Rebels trying to get something going momentum-wise. Pitch out the back, Phil, and he is able to recover. The fumble back at the 32-yard line. Tried to get it to Keller, or to Ennin, rather, and as he sprinted out for the pitch, he fell down, and then Chris Mon fell down and stumbled trying to go after the loose football, and it was finally covered by Ennin, but it's a loss of six or seven yards on the play, and that pushes the Rebels back to the 32-yard line. But it could have been worse. They could have lost possession. Here's the pass, left side, and Ennin was looking where he was going to run with the ball, and he dropped it. He had it all planned out. He was going to catch that ball and go up the sideline, make a move on Heidbretter and be gone, but he, he forgot to catch the football. So it will be a third down play. Third and 16 at the 32-yard line, and clock now at a minute 59 remaining in the first half. And Reed Johnson will take a timeout for the Rebels and will return to the Hillcrest homecoming football game at Hillcrest Lutheran Academy in one minute. It's the Comets 36 and the Rebels nothing. Campbellton to Fairmont in shotgun formation on third down at 16. The ball at the Hillcrest 32-yard line. Rebels trying to get something going before halftime as they trail 36 to nothing. They have had some positive things happen here on this possession, but not this time. It's picked off by Newman over the middle. Newman up the sideline and Hills, the quarterback, brings him down as he crosses the 35 to the 36-yard line. But that's the longest possession that either team has had. Campbellton to Fairmont with 11 snaps on that drive, moving from their own 15-yard line and down deep into Hillcrest territory before losing possession on the interception by Newman. 
Gilchrist taking control of the ball with a minute 50 to go now in the first half. And they'll start on their own 36-yard line. Comets have scored on their last five possessions. On first down, Selvig now running the offense, and he hands the ball off to David Folden. Folden carrying for the first time. We're seeing some substitutions here. Dave Selvig, the sophomore, is the quarterback. And it's a one-yard gain for Folden. And we'll pick up the substitutions as we can. Corey Sinstalin is in there, a junior. Corey is lined up as the right end. In fact, he splits off the line to the right side. Steven Gunderson, 160, the tackle on the right side. Here's Folden again off the left side over midfield and into Campbell Tinted Territory to the 38-yard line as he picks up about five yards on that carry. Also in the lineup, number 50 is Peter Swenson. Center, 155-pounder. Third down at four as Folden gains five on that second down carry. In the backfield with Folden is number 22, Ryan Erkenbrack, the freshman, 165-pounder. They split behind the quarterback, Selvig, and this is Erkenbrack off the left side, feeling his way inside the 35 and ahead to the 34. It's going to be very close to first down yardage. Father Dean says that's a first down. Let's see. Take a close look. No signal yet from the ref. They're giving it a long look here. And they're going to bring the sticks across to take an even closer look. 21 seconds left in this first half, and it has been all Hillcrest. 36 to nothing. Scoring 14 in the first quarter, 22 more here in the second quarter. And let's see what happens when they stretch the sticks. The result is a first down. So Ryan Erkenbrack with four yards and a first down on his first carry. Ball inside the 35 at the Campbell Tint to Fairmont 34-yard line. Clock down to 15 seconds remaining as Selvig brings the Comets up to the line of scrimmage. On first down. Out of the shotgun, Selvig will look to throw. He drops back into his own territory, throws it deep over the middle, and the pass is incomplete. It went through the hands of Hills at the 10-yard line, and there was a receiver back there. And had it been thrown a little harder, or tipped a little harder, it could have been six points for Hillcrest off the deflection. Incompleted pass, and with one second to go here in the first half, the Comets will get one more play, trying to let... The young sophomore, Dave Selvig, throw the football and get the feel of playing a varsity game here. David, I'm sure, will get a lot of playing time tomorrow in that JV game, as will most of the guys out there right now. Here's Folden. He has a hole, and he takes it all the way down to the 26-yard line, gaining eight yards on the final play of the first half. And a good hand from the Hillcrest faithful who are here for this homecoming parents' weekend at Hillcrest Lutheran Academy. They have seen what they wanted to see in this first half. The Comets dominating 36 to nothing over Campbell Tint to Fairmont. And we'll recap the first half for you after this timeout. The Rebels of Campbell Tint to Fairmont will get the first possession of the second half. And the Comets will kick it away with Evan Newman, who has booted it into the end zone the last three times he has kicked off. Mike Hills will be deep near his own goal line, hoping to get a chance to return one. Kaler and Keller are standing at about the five-yard line on either side of Hills. 36 to nothing, Comets. We're going to see a lot of new faces out there. We did at the end of the first half, I'm sure, for Hillcrest. Line drive kick, Hills into the end zone, and a touchback again. And Campbell Tint to Fairmont will start on their own 15-yard line. Well, they certainly showed signs of offensive life in that last possession of the first half, 11 plays picking up all three of their first downs and getting the majority of their 54 yards in offense on that possession and perhaps have a little momentum offensively after that showing. On first down, handoff off the left side. Davids takes it up to about the 19-yard line with his first carry of the afternoon. It's a gain of four. 
It'll be second down at six. Well, let's check that. It's not 23, it's 28. I thought it was David's 23, but it's Curtis Patrick, number 28, carrying the football, his first carry, and a four-yard gain. Patrick, who plays a defensive back spot for Reed Johnson on the defense. Here's Keller off the left side, and the Comets push him back just short of first down yardage at the 24-yard line as he gains five. Keller with his sixth carry. He has 18 yards now in the afternoon. Comet defense has been very stingy against the rush here. Through the first two-plus quarters. Third down and less than a yard to go for the first. We're a minute into this third quarter. Hand off right side, Annan first down and upended as he crosses the 25 and gets out to the 27-yard line. Fold and cut him down. And it will be a first down for the Rebels. Gain of about four yards for Annan on that play. The third of the drive. And their fourth first down of the afternoon. Annan up over 20 yards now. 22 yards rushing on 10 carries. First down. Ball at the 29. Flanker to the right side. Here's the handoff coming to Keller. Keller trying to get his way through the hole there, but he is cut down by Mon, who grabbed him around the ankles and had a lot of help. One yard gain on that first down play. Second down, nine, 10 15 to go, third quarter. Comet's in control here, 36 to nothing. The Rebels will play Hoffman Kensington at home on Wednesday night, and then they won't play again until the 23rd, two weeks from tonight, against Clinton Graceville. They close out with two games in a row at home. Second down. A long eight for the first. And off the right side, Keller. Comets again closed the hole quickly, and he got about two more yards. It will be third down. Third down at six, with the ball spotted on the 34-yard line of the Rebels. Through the air, Campbell Tinta Fairmont has thrown the football nine times, has completed just nine. Or two, rather, of the nine. Trying to go wide. Kaler will not get away from Heidbretter as he is hit for a loss back at the 31-yard line. Lost three on that play, and it will bring up fourth down. And a punting situation for the Rebels with Mark Keller back into the ball game to do the punting. Newman will drop back along with Folden. Cobbets have excelled offensively. They've excelled defensively. About the only thing they haven't done is put six on the board with their specialty teams. And who knows? Low snap. Keller bobbles, picks it up, in trouble, and he got away from one man. He's got some room. He will get the first down. He's over midfield to the 35 and ahead to the 31-yard line of Hillcrest. Well, how's that for turning nothing into something? It's a 17-yard gain and a first down. Someone had a shot at him. I think it was Mon who had a shot at him in the backfield. Keller was able to get away from him. Reversed his field direction, came to the near side and had a lot of running room and takes it all the way to the 40, the 31-yard uh, line of Hillcrest. First down and 10. Second penetration of Comet territory by the Campbell Tint of Fairmont offense and Hills will go to the air, puts it up and incomplete, trying to get it to Kaler. He had to turn around completely trying to get a grasp on that ball and fold and had him well covered. Second down and 10. Hills, one out of nine, throwing the football. Clock stopped on the incompletion with eight minutes and 22 seconds to play in the third quarter. Rebels have had the football the entire third quarter. Again, the low snap, enabling Keller actually to get the first down. And now trouble for Hills, and he's going to be hit for a loss. Heidbretter was right there to drop him for a three-yard loss back at the 34-yard line as he was trying to throw the football. Low snap, he bobbled it, picked it up, tried to roll out to the right side, and Heidbretter was all over him. 
Well, they spot the ball at the 33-yard line, so call it a two-yard loss for Hills. Third down at 12, with under eight minutes to play in the third quarter. 36 to nothing. The Comets have the lead over Campbellton to Fairmont. Two receivers coming wide to the near side, Kaler and Keller. Out of the shotgun. Hills takes the snap. He needs some time. He's under pressure. He throws it up the sideline. He's got a man open. It's Carter. Carter has first down yardage. He's at the five, and he's into the end zone for the score. Well, they threw two receivers out to the left side, and then Hills threw it across the field to the right side on third down and 12. And it's 33 yards and a score for Campbell Tint to Fairmont. Carter on the receiving end of the pass. Carter had caught two passes coming in for 49 yards. That's the first passing touchdown for Campbell Tint to Fairmont this year. Full house backfield for the two-point conversion. Play action fake pass and dropped in the end zone trying to get it out into the corner of the end zone for Jeremy Schreiber, but he could not hold on to it. So it's 7.29 to go in the third quarter. The Rebels are on the board. It's Hillcrest 36, Campbellton to Fairmont 6. The new 93s have arrived at Warner Auto Center, but there are still 92s left at Closeout Savings. Pontiac Bonneville Grand Am Sunbird with rebates up to $12.50 plus 5.9% APR financing or an additional $500 rebate. Or save $1,500 to $3,000 in all in-stock 92 Oldsmobiles, Achievas, Cutlass Supremes, Cutlass Sierras, Olds 88s at Warner Auto Center. Turn the key. It's 92 closeout savings time at Warner Auto Center, Fergus Falls. Well, for the first time since the opening kickoff of this game, Ennen will put the ball on the tee at his own 30-yard line, and the Comets will drop Evan Newman and Ryan Nordland back inside the five awaiting the kickoff. Campbell Tint to Fairmont, 10 plays, 65 yards, and a 33-yard pass on third and 12. Craig Carter from Mike Hills to make it 36-6. End over end kick on the run. Nordland at the 12. To the 20. Shakes the tackle. To the 30. To the 35. And, well, short of the 35 at about the 32-yard line as Ennen was the man who tackled him. So Comets will start on their own 32. Regular starting lineup out there for Hillcrest. Quam. The up back in the I formation. Newman the deep back. He has the football following Quam to the outside to midfield. Spinning and ahead to the 35-yard line for a first down and a gain of 15. Hannon made the stop on him, but Newman goes over 100 yards on that carry. Evan has 108 yards on 13 carries. So you're looking at about 8 yards a clip there, a little over 8. First down at the Campbell Tint to Fairmont, 35 with under 7 minutes to go in the third quarter. Larson wide to the right side, again out of the I formation. Andrew takes the snap from Walter, turns, gives it off to Quam, trying to come back against the grain, takes it inside the 30 and down to the 29-yard line. He did a good job there dragging the defensive lineman with him. Casey Barth had him around the waist, but Quam would not go down easily, and he gets six yards. Quam now with 48 yards on the day on eight carries. Comets have run the football well. Those two carries bring them up to exactly 200 yards rushing unofficially. Out of the eye on second down and four. It's a quarterback draw by Andrew, and he pushes forward close to the first down. I think he was just over the 25 and should have first down yardage. Andrew with 26 or 20, uh, make it 30 yards on four carries. And it is a Comet first down. So they keep the drive going inside the Campbellton to Fairmont 25-yard line. Six minutes to play, third quarter. Hillcrest by 30, it's 36-6. Wide to the right side comes Larson. Quam and Newman in the I formation behind Endrude on first down and 10. Endrude will turn and give it off to Newman. And Newman will take it down to about the 21. A gain of four, second down at six. Evan Newman has done it all for the Comets this year. He's an excellent running back, has good quickness, good instincts out there with the football. Does all the kicking. Just a very versatile player. 
Reeds is blocking well. Second down at six. Fake to Quam. They come back on the counter to Newman. Newman to the outside, inside the 20, and down at the 17. Mike Hills, the safety, making the stop on him there. Gain of about three or four more, and it will be third down and three. Fifth play of the drive. This possession starting back on the Comet 32-yard line. Under five minutes to play in the third. Comets led 36-0 at halftime. Each team has had the football only once here in the second half. Campbell Tinta Fairmont scoring on their first possession. Here's Newman picking the hole and falling forward to about the 14. Pretty quick whistle on that one. Evan was spinning away from the tackler as the whistle sounded. He's going to be close to the first down, and they do give it to him. So another first down for the Comets with four and a half minutes remaining in the third. They have a first down and ten at the Campbell Tint to Fairmont 15. The Rebels are now combined in all athletic athletics at their school. Campbell Tint to Fairmont all together. They have not been that way until this year in all sports. Quam left side taking the pitch and trying to escape an ankle tackle, but he will not get away as he goes down at about the five-yard line. Again, close to the first down, Jason Kelsch held on and made the tackle, but Paul's a bit shy of the first down, second and one. Quam now with 57 yards on nine carries. Two hundred thirteen yards rushing for the Comets today. And just seven yards shy of three hundred yards total offense. Here's Andrewd, quarterback sweep, and he is going to be dropped for a one yard loss. Some good penetration by Mark Keller. He took the snap, tucked it under his arm, and started to sweep the right side. On second and short, now it'll be third down at about a yard and a half. That was the eighth play of this drive. Clock down to the 315 mark here in the third quarter. Third down and less than two to go for the first with a ball shy of the five-yard line. Nordland winds up as the wing back on the left side. Here's Newman off the right side. He scampers into the end zone and six more points. Then he's thrown to the ground by Annan well out of bounds, and that draws the flag, and it will be the first penalty of the day against Campbell Tint to Fairmont. And it will be unnecessary roughness, personal foul. And I'm sure a little frustration on Annan's part as Newman scores the touchdown and makes it 42-6 to with three minutes to go. That's a six-yard touchdown run. Evan Newman's third touchdown of the day. Exactly three minutes to play in the third. And now the Comets will try to tack on the two-point conversion. Newman with a six-yard run for the score. And, well, Newman's going to kick out of the hold of Endrude, trying to put the 43rd point on the board. Well, now they fake it. Endrude up, and his pass is deflected by Mike Hills, and good thing it was for Campbell Tint to Fairmont because Quam was all alone in the end zone, and it would have been an easy two. So with three minutes to go in the football game, it's 42-6. to six. The Comets have the lead, and we'll return with their kickoff in a half minute. 42-6, to six. there's three minutes left in the third quarter. I said the football game, that's not true. Th third quarter action still, three minutes to go. But it is all Comets. Hillcrest countering that Rebel score with a score of their own. Nine plays, 48 yards, and the six-yard touchdown run by Newman, who will now kick it off. And guess what? It's into the end zone, and it's a touchback. I think that's five times in a row they brought the ball out to the 15-yard line on the touchback off Newman's kick. So the Rebel offense, which has definitely looked good the last two times they've had the football with an 11-play drive ending in an interception at the end of the first half and a 10-play drive ending in a touchdown to start the second half, and both times in punting situations they kept the drive alive once by design on a pass play from Keller to Hills, and then once on a botched snap that Keller was able to turn into a first down pickup. And on first down here, Ennen tries the right side on the ground and will take it up to about the 17-yard line.
Couple of tough yards there for the Rebels. Second down at eight. In and with 11 carries and 24 yards on the ground. 2.45 remaining third quarter. First of two games we'll have for you on 12.50 KBRF AM today as the Otters and East Grand Forks play in the Fergus Falls High School homecoming game this evening at 7.30. Roger Olson will join me for that one at 7.15. Our pregame show begins. On second down at 8. Back to pass. Hill stepping up in the pocket, escaping the rush. Now cuts back, gets the first down. He has running room to the outside. He could go all the way. He's at the 30, to the 20, the 10, and six more for the Rebels of Campbellton to Fairmont. And that one all the way from the 17-yard line. And that's a 63-yard touchdown run. Well, three possessions here in the second half, and they have all resulted in touchdowns. Two for the Rebels, one for the Comets. And with 2.09 to go here in the third quarter, it's 42 to 12. Hills scoring his first touchdown. 63 yards, and now they'll try to tack on the conversion. Now Keller's going to line up as a quarterback in the shotgun in this situation. And now he looks, passes, and it is incomplete. So the conversion attempt fails, and with 2.09 to go in the third quarter, it's Hillcrest 42, Campbellton to Fairmont 12. Well, the Rebels of Campbellton to Fairmont have scored two touchdowns in the third quarter. They trailed 36-0 at halftime and are down now 42-12 as the Comets have a touchdown between the two Rebel scores today. And the kickoff by Ennen. Wobbly short kick. Newman at the 15-yard line caught it on top of his shoes. Takes it all the way across the field and will be taken down as he crosses the 25 to about the 27-yard line. Evan ran a long way on that return but still only got about 12 yards upfield on it. So Hillcrest will start on their own 27. 1.58 to go, third quarter. Forty-two to twelve. Hillcrest by thirty. And they have the football. The backs are split. Newman and Quam are out there. And the handoff to Quam takes it over the 30 to about the 31-yard line. Gain of four on the play. Tackle made by Casey Barth. Second down at six. Quam now with 10 carries. 61 yards and one rushing touchdown. He has also thrown a touchdown pass from his running back position. 115 and counting here in the third quarter. On second down and six, out of the I formation. Play action fake over the middle and the ball way overthrown. In fact, it almost hit the kicking tee, which is still out at the 30-yard line. Michael Levang spots it and throws it across the field onto the uh, sideline where Campbell Tinto Fairmont resides, and it's third down and six. While the third down situations for Hillcrest have been few and far between here. They've been picking up good yardage on first and second down and picking up most of their first downs or touchdowns on those two downs. So they have not been faced with too many situations where it's third and long. In fact, they've only punted once in the football game and that was back on their second possession. And it resulted in a muffed punt by Campbellton to Fairmont and led to excellent field position. And from there, the first score of the day for the Comets. Newman going wide, got away from Carter but he'll be bumped out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Keller, the man who bumped him, he went forward to about the 33 after the contact, picked up a couple of yards, but it will be fourth down for the Comets. Fourth down and four from the 33-yard line. And Newman most likely will punt for just the second time today. Under a minute to go in the third.
Newman back in punt formation. Kills deep at his own 15-yard line, awaiting the kick. High snap, Evan pulls it down. Bluffs the kick, he's going to try to run for it, and he's going to be successful as he does a little balancing act up the sideline. He paid a price for it, though. He took quite a jolt on the near side from number 23, Joe Davids. And let's see where they spot him out. Boy, oh, it's close. They spot him out of bounds at about the 37th, and it is a first down. So the Comets go for it and come up with about five when they needed four. One hundred thirty one yards on the day for Evan Newman on nineteen carries. Forty seven seconds remaining, third quarter. Well the first nine minutes of this quarter breezed by and the last three have taken a while. Here's Andrew running some option. He tried to cut back and he slipped and fell and lost a yard. Nate has run the football six times for twenty eight yards. Second down at eleven from the thirty seven. Half a minute to play, third quarter. 42 to 12, Comets by 30. Every possession of this third quarter has resulted in a score so far, and the Comets are about to snap the ball for the sixth time on this possession after keeping the drive alive on a fourth down conversion out of punt formation. Endrude turns. Fakes the handoff, setting in trouble, now throws it off balance. LeVang tips it, and it's incomplete. Michael knew he couldn't catch it, so he reached up and swatted away from Joe Davids, the defender on the play. And with one second remaining, that incompletion stops the clock, and it will be third down at 11 from the 37-yard line. 30-point Comet lead. 12-point quarter, though, for Campbell Tint to Fairmont. We're going to have quite a recap on that post-game show. Been a lot of scoring. Eight different times the ball has gone into the end zone. Back to pass. Andrew on third and long. In trouble, in under pressure, and he dumps it off incomplete. So it will be fourth down at 11. And when we come back with fourth quarter action, it will be a punting situation for the Comets. They have the ball on their own 37-yard line, and they lead the game 42-12. to Fourth quarter action about to get underway. That third quarter, 12 points for Campbell Tint to Fairmont, 6 for Hillcrest. First points of the game for the Rebels, 42-12. to Hillcrest has the lead. Great day for football. Sure, it's overcast and not real warm, but not real cold either. We could have snow flying and wind whipping, but it's it's a very enjoyable afternoon to be out here at the football field. Dean, I don't know if it's nice enough to open that window, but <laughs> the wind is coming a bit from the north. And we have the, lux the luxurious Hillcrest Lutheran Academy press box to keep us cozy and warm here. And the best seat in the house and the field looking great. Punt formation for just the second time. Newman gets the kick away. Hills goes down to his knees to receive it at the 17-yard line. Well, that's the best starting position Campbell Tinta Fairmont has had in a long time. They've been starting at their own 15 for the last five times they've had the football. Now they're at the 17. They're making progress on the starting spot on the field after that punt by Newman. They've had a lot of football field ahead of them every time they've picked up the football today, it seems which is a credit to the Hillcrest offense and Hillcrest defense and the kicking game of Evan Newman. Spotted on the 18. First down for the Rebels on their own 18-yard line. Just underway, fourth quarter. Hills handing the ball off to Annan, who hands it off to Patrick, coming around the right side, still on his feet. A little reverse action here as he takes it out to the 28 or 29-yard line, cut down by Nordland, and he got the first down. Gain of 11 yards on that play. Curtis Patrick, the ball carrier. Play developed quickly with a couple of handoffs. First down and 10. Ball out to the 29-yard line of Campbell Tinta Fairmont. Twin receivers to the left. Last time they did this, they hit Carter up the right sideline. Now, Hills ran into his blocker, Patrick, 
in the backfield and then kind of panicked and threw the ball away before he really set up. He was under some pressure. Second down and 10. Hills, two out of 11, throwing the football for 37 yards and one touchdown to Craig Carter, 33 yards out. On second and 10 for the 29-yard line, we have 11 minutes and 20 seconds to play here in the fourth quarter. Comets lead it 42-12. to 12. They had a 14-0 lead after one, 36-0 at halftime. And Roth scored 12-6 in the third, and Kaler will go down for a loss. Quam, the first man to get to him. Hansen was there. Mon was there, and it's a loss of a yard or two, and it will be third down and 12. Well, I spoke too soon. Third and 11. Wait till that down marker gets set over there. So Kaler lost a yard. He's only carried the football four times, and he has nothing to show for it. Ten forty-five to go. And Hills, the quarterback, fakes the handoff, tries to sweep the right side, bounces off one tackle. Mon got some contact, but he was able to bounce off him back toward the middle of the field, and Nordland was there to finish him off. He may have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Nope, didn't do it. Fourth down and 11, no gain. Hills went 63 yards for a touchdown on his third carry. Last possession for Campbell Tint to Fairmont. And it is now a putting situation here. Newman dropping back inside his own 25-yard line as we approach the 10-minute mark in the fourth quarter. And Mark Keller will punt for Campbell Tint to Fairmont. It's 42-12. to 12. Keller gets the kick away, a low kick to the far side of the field. It's going to bounce and go out of bounds. And they'll spot it at about the 32-yard line of the Comets. 9.47 remaining in the football game, and Hillcrest takes over on their own 32. There's a junior varsity football game here tomorrow as a part of the Hillcrest homecoming weekend and parents weekend. Hoffman Kensington's junior varsity team will be here for a 10 o'clock game. Little alumni volleyball action at 12.30. The alumni women against the Hillcrest girls. Then they have a basketball game. The alumni men against the Bible Seminary men at 3.45 tomorrow afternoon. There's a homecoming rally at 7.30 tomorrow night. Reverend Joel Backstrom will be the speaker at that rally. Here's Quam, and Quam is driven back as he reaches the 35-yard line. Good tackle by Annan, who then helps him up after a gain of about three. Second down and seven. They make it a full weekend here at Hillcrest Lutheran Academy. Tonight there's special evening service at Bethel Church with a focus on Hillcrest Lutheran Academy, including special music and testimonies. And then the worship service on Sunday with Reverend Richard Bridston, the speaker, at 11 o'clock on Sunday morning. They have an open house in both the boys' and girls' dorm in the afternoon. And President Joel Agee and his wife will host a president's coffee on Sunday afternoon. Here's a pass to LeVang. He's got some room, and he'll take it down to the 21-yard line. We have a penalty flag thrown and probably a clip on the run after the pass completion. Yep, that is the preliminary signal. LeVang was open up over the middle. And we will see what they call. Yep, the clipping penalty will be assessed here, but LeVang picked up about 14 yards before the clip. And the markoff will come from that point. This, this is one of those plays, I don't know how to make this yardage. We'll give LeVang 14 yards. It'll be second down and three.
On second down and two, the handoff going wide to the right side is Nordland, his first carry of the afternoon, and he is thrown down. He did get the first down, though. And that will be a gain of about three yards for Nordland on the play. Comets have the football on the Campbell Tint of Fairmont 37-yard line with eight and a half minutes to go. Clock stops as the play went out of bounds on the far side. Larson goes wide to the right side and out of the eye formation on first down. We have a penalty flag thrown. Somebody went into that neutral zone. I believe it was a Rebel player who crossed into the neutral zone here, lined up offside, and it will be a five-yard markoff. Second penalty for 20 yards against Campbell Tint to Fairmont. Hillcrest also has been penalized twice for 20 yards, so the penalty flags have been at a minimum today. First down and five, eight and a half minutes to go in the football game, 42 to 12. Comets lead it by 30. On the counter, this is Nordland to the outside, running room. He could go, and he will go. It's a touchdown, covering 32 yards. Ryan Nordland scoring for Hillcrest. And that puts them up 48 to 12 with 8.21 remaining here in the ballgame. First touchdown of the fourth quarter. Three-play drive, 48 yards and a TD. Nordland from 32 yards. And the Comets will bring out David Selvig with Folden and Erkenbrack, the setbacks, trying for that two-point conversion. Selvig will fake the handoff, roll, look, pass to the end zone, and overthrow his intended receiver. With 8.21 to go, trying to get the ball up there to Adam Berge, the freshman, but overshot him. And with 8.21 to go in the ball game, it's Hillcrest 48, Campbell Tint to Fairmont 12. Well, Evan Newman will kick the ball away. The Comets with another touchdown. Ryan Nordland on a 32-yard run, scoring his second touchdown of the day. He was on the receiving end of that 50-yard pass from Paul Quam back in the first quarter. This time the kick fielded on the run, dropped at about the 15-yard line, then recovered once again, and good coverage by the Comets, and the first man there was Heidbretter to make the tackle. Jeremy Vetch, the junior, on the return, just got a couple of yards on it. He was one of the up men in the kick return formation for Campbell Tint of Fairmont, and again, they start back on their own 15-yard line with 8-10 to play in the football game. Rebels have all 12 of their points in the second half, all in the third quarter. Hills remains in there at quarterback. Keller and N in the setbacks. Patrick goes wide to the left side, comes in motion now toward the line of scrimmage. A pitch out, Ennen going wide, trying to get outside on the Comets, and he will pick up seven or eight yards on the play. On the far side, Ryan Erkenbrack ran him out of bounds. A little help there from Peter Swenson. And they spot him down at the 21-yard line. Second down and four, a gain of six for Ennen, who has 30 yards on 12 carries. Patrick wide to the right side. On second down and four, again, he goes in motion toward the line of scrimmage. And here's Keller with a first down and cutting back over the 30-yard line before he's ridden down. First down. And a gain of eight yards on that play. Eight or nine, actually. 48 yards on 10 carries for Mark Keller, who is the leading rusher for Campbell Tint to Fairmont this year. He's up to 360 yards on the ground now. He's carried the football 85 times, twice as many attempts as any other running back, almost twice as many. This is Keller again, and he skirts through a hole over the 35 to about the 36-yard line. Erkin, Bracken, Swenson again on the stop. Gain of six yards for Keller. Second and four. Matt Danner, a sophomore, coming out for Hillcrest, number 52. He was in 
on that play. Steven Gunderson is out there, a junior. Adam Berge in the secondary, along with David Selvig. Second down. And the handoff up the middle over midfield and into Hillcrest territory for the first down to the 38-yard line. And in carries for five yards. Rebels with another first down. 6.45 to go in the football game. 48-12. to 12, The Comets have the lead. 36-point margin is equal to their biggest of the game. On first down from the Hillcrest, 38-yard line, they go with the full house backfield. And in Keller and Davids, the running backs. Hills over the middle, has the ball picked off. This is Folden, and he'll be brought down at the 29-yard line. Second interception of the day for the Comets. Newman had one at the end of the first half. This time, Folden comes up with the interception. And the Comets get the ball back with 6.24 to go in the football game, and they will start this possession on their own 29-yard line. Hillcrest offense led by David Selvig, the sophomore quarterback. Erkenbrack, the up back in the eye. Deep back is Folden, and on first down, it's Folden following Erkenbrack, cutting over the 35 and ahead to the 39-yard line, close to first down yardage, but he will be a bit shy. But a nine-yard gainer for Folden, who has carried four times for 23 yards. Midway through this fourth quarter, second down, less than a yard. It has been all Comets today. Selvig giving it off to Erkenbrack. First down, ahead to the 35, and down he goes there. It's a six-yard gain for Ryan Erkenbrack. Tackle made in the secondary by Jeremy Steffens, a junior. Comets get another fresh set of downs here. Erkenbrack with his second carry, total of 10 yards on the day. 5.35 remaining. Hillcrest scored two first-quarter touchdowns. To lead it 14 to nothing, then made it 36 nothing at halftime with 22 points in the second quarter. To the outside, Folden. Folden breaks it up the sideline. Nobody will catch him, and it's another Hillcrest touchdown. This one covering 35 yards, and the Comets increase their lead. It is 54 to 12 with 5:16 to go in the ball game. Folden going 35 yards, and that gives him 58 yards on five carries. Boy, they're spreading the touchdowns around today. Nordland has scored two. Newman has scored two. Levang, Newman has scored three, rather. Levang and Quam, and now Folden, all with touchdowns. And the Comets will try to add on two more. Backs are split. Selvig pitches it out. Erkenbrack, and he will go down for a loss of about a yard. Tackle made by number 40, Jeremy Schreiber. And with 5.16 remaining in the ballgame, it's the Comets 54 and the Rebels 12. Balls. Well, Coach Richard Risbrood's Comets have this one well in hand as they are going to improve to 4-2 and two on the year. They lead it 54-12. to 12, And they will gear up now for a matchup with the Underwood Rockets on Wednesday night in Underwood, a game that you'll hear on 12.50 KBRFAM. The Rockets are undefeated going into today's action and ranked number five in the state in the latest nine-man poll. Comets were a man short there on the kicking team as they have the reserves on the field. Newman isn't going to kick. Jim Erickson will kick the ball, and it is bobbled on the receiving end by... Campbell tint to Fairmont, but a short return after they get it under control to the 22-yard line. And with 5.11 to go, Campbell tint to Fairmont will have the football on their own 22. A lot of fresh faces out on the field now for the Hillcrest Comets. We'll pick up as many as we can. Micah Erickson, the sophomore, is in there. Selvig comes back on. 
Jay Nearson, a freshman, is on the field. Froda Hotlevic, a junior, is out there. There's a the handoff. Keller all the way out to the 33-yard line before he's brought down. And it will be a first down for Campbellton to Fairmont and a gain of 11 on the play. Tackle was made by Matt Jorud, junior, number 33 on the far side. First down for Campbellton to Fairmont, four and a half minutes to play in the ball game. Here's Davids carrying the football ahead to midfield to the 40 and a little bit into a Comet territory ahead to the 37-yard line. Pick up of eight on the play for Joe Davids on his first carry of the afternoon. And it will be second down and, well, second and one. Give him nine. 4-10 and counting. Comets celebrating their homecoming in grand fashion here, 54-12. Over Campbell Tinta Fairmont. Volleyball team won their game last night. Pass left side, caught by Carter. Carter ahead to the 25, all the way to the 20, and finally thrown down at the 19-yard line. Well, the Comets had a shot at picking that one off, but Carter kept his concentration, looked the ball in, and picked up some good yardage. And getting the first down, he got 18 yards on that pass reception. Carter caught one for 33 yards and a touchdown earlier in the game. Ball inside the Hillcrest 20 at the 19 with 3.45 remaining. Hillcrest beating Ashby three games to one last night in volleyball action. Their homecoming victory in volleyball. And now adding a football win to it here this afternoon. Full house backfield and in motion goes Keller. And now sweeping the left side is Hills, and Hills is going to follow his block and take it in from 19 yards out for the third touchdown of the afternoon for Campbell Tent to Fairmont. And with 3.22 to go now in the fourth quarter, that makes it 54-18. to 18. Second touchdown for Hills. He had a 63-yard run earlier, this one from 19 yards out. And the Rebels, with 3.22 to go in the ballgame, will try to add on a couple more here on their two-point conversion attempt. Backs are split. Well, now they uh, leave just the quarterback in as they split out wide to the right. High snap back to Hills. He guns it to the end zone. Did not have a real good grip on the ball as it fluttered away near the goal line, and it will fail. So, with 3.22 to go in the ball game, it's Hillcrest 54 and Campbell Tinta Fairmont 18. Hillcrest will get the football back after the touchdown run of 19 yards for quarterback Mike Hills. 54 to 18, the Comets have the lead as we go into the final 3.22 of play. Selvig picks up the ball on the 14-yard line, gets over the 20, now heads to the near sideline at the 25. Penalty flag is down. He's at the 35 and out of bounds near midfield, but a flag is down. We're going to have a clip here, which will move the ball back deeper into Hillcrest territory. The flag was thrown at about the 23-yard line. So the Comets will start deep in their own territory. With 3.13 left in the football game. Game two of our homecoming doubleheader coming your way tonight from the Fergus Falls High School football field. Game time is 7.30. The Green Wave and the Otters go at it. Last year, the Otters played the Green Wave twice, beat them both times, and the first time around regular season game at East Grand Forks. Second time around was a playoff game at Fergus Falls in the opening round of the Section 8A playoffs. Pre-game show tonight on the air at 7.15. Don Stuvey will join us for the pre-game. Hillcrest starting back on their own 12-yard line. 3.13 remaining in the ball game. Out of the I formation with Erkenbrack and Folden. The setbacks. Here's Selvig giving the ball, faking the ball. He's going to throw. Selvig has his man, and it is incomplete. 
through the hands of Matt Larson at the 35-yard line. He had a lot of time to throw, and the play developed well. And the ball was there, but not handled cleanly. And with 3.08 to go, it's second down 10. Remember the KBRF tailgates to touchdowns coming up at 5.30 over at the Fergus Falls Middle School parking lot adjacent to the tennis courts. A grilled Schweigert hot dog on a bun from Morfor. You get some a barrel of fun chips and either a Diet Coke or a Coca-Cola Classic, all for a buck. Come and join us tonight, 5.30 to 7.30, and then stay for the Otter homecoming game. Here's Folden off the right side, breaking a tackle. He's loose at the 35. He's at midfield. Nobody's going to catch him. Folden is going to go all the way for the touchdown, and that is a 67-yard touchdown run, and the Comets have scored 60 points today. 67 yards for Folden. He has had touchdown runs on his last two carries of 35 and 67. He has 125 yards on six carries. Almost 21 yards a pop. And it's 60 to 18. 2.54 to go. And now the Comets line up for the two-point conversion. Again, they are in the I formation. Selvig has it, and he escapes the tackle. Needing some help, he will get in with the slide into the corner of the end zone. So David Selvig scores on the two-point conversion run. And with 2.54 to go... It's the Comets 62 and the Rebels 18. And we'll be back with a Hillcrest kickoff in a half minute. Two minutes and 54 seconds remaining in the football game. And it's 62 to 18. The Hillcrest Comets have dominated this afternoon. And they will now kick the football away. Rebels... Mike Hills is deep awaiting the kick inside the 10-yard line. And the kick by Erickson, fielded by one of the up men ahead to the 27 or 28-yard line. Jim Bertram, the man returning the football. So it's first down for Campbell Tint to Fairmont back on their 28-yard line. Fourth quarter so far, Hillcrest has scored three touchdowns. Campbell Tint to Fairmont, one. All of the Rebels scoring has come in the second half. They had two third quarter touchdowns and one here in the fourth. And the new quarterback is Keller. He hands the ball off and straight ahead up over the 35 to about the 37 yard line. Ball carrier was number 50, John Shockley. And he carried for nine yards on that play. Two minutes remaining. Tackle made by Oystein Jeremy. Is that right, Dean? Close enough? <laughs> Second down off the left side and ahead to the 36-yard line on the carry goes Patrick. It will be a first down. He got seven yards on that play. Campbell Tint to Fairmont with a first down and a minute 41 remaining as they have the ball at the Hillcrest 36. Lots of new faces out there. Ryan Sims, a senior, playing at a linebacker spot for the Comets. Hills to throw, rolling out, fires, and was it caught? Yes, caught at the 25-yard line, and a nice play made by Jason Kelsch to come up with a football. And he gets the first down, about a 12-yard gain on that reception. Hills completing his fourth pass in 14 attempts. Ball at the Hillcrest 25. Clock down to a minute 15 remaining. 
62 to 18. It is all Hillcrest here against Campbell Tint of Fairmont. Quarterback Hills falls on the ball as it came loose on the center snap. Loss of a yard on the play. Under a minute to go now, second down at 11. We're about two hours away from pregame show time for the Fergus Falls Otters East Grand Forks Green Wave football game. 7.15 is our starting time on that. Here's Patrick from the wingback spot going wide. Gets the first down up the sideline and out of bounds at about the 10-yard line. Let's see where they spot him. Right at the 10, just short of the 10-yard line. So a gain of 15 yards on that play for Curtis Patrick. And a Campbell Tint to first down as they try to push another one in here. 33 seconds remaining. Hillcrest will go to 4-2 and two with the victory this afternoon. And Campbell Tint to Fairmont will drop to 1-5 and five as they will return home for their last two games. They'll host Hoffman Kensington next Wednesday. And then two weeks from tonight, they close out the regular season with Clinton Graceville at home. And a couple of big games for the Rebels if they want to get into postseason play. Keller's pass down near the goal line trying to get it to Hills is incomplete. 28 seconds remaining. Second down and 10. Ball just shy of the 10-yard line. It is possible for the Rebels to get a first down here without punching it in. Rebels spending a lot of time back in the huddle here. On second down, let's see who takes the snap. Keller and Hills are both lined up back in the backfield. Ball goes back to Hills. He'll roll to the right side under some pressure. Now he gets a good block, and Keller springs him free, and he takes it in for the touchdown. That's a 10-yard touchdown sprint by Hills, who has his third touchdown of the day. Had a 19-yard run for a score earlier and a 63-yard run. Now he tacks on a 10-yard run with 21 seconds remaining in the ball game. Hills from 10 yards out, 62 to 24. And Campbell Tint to Fairmont will try to add on a couple more here. Hills takes the snap, flags fly. And we must have had some movement offensively and a five yard mark off coming here against Campbell Tint to Fairmont. Flags have been at a minimum. That's only the third penalty against the Rebels for 25 yards. Hillcrest also has been penalized three times. So they'll try to add two here from the eight-yard line instead of the three. Two receivers wide to the right side. Kills the quarterback in shotgun formation. Takes the snap, looks, throws toward the end zone. He has his man, and it is caught... Actually, two receivers were there, and it wound up going to number 48, Jason Kelsch. Joe Davids was just underneath him, but Kelsch is a man who catches it. And with 21 seconds remaining, our score at the Hillcrest Lutheran Academy field is the Comet 62 and the Rebels 26. Well, number 74, David Taylor, a senior, will kick it away now for Campbell Tint to Fairmont. Kick is fielded inside the 10-yard line by David Selvig. He comes to the near sideline and will go out of bounds as he crosses the 30-yard line to about the 31. And that's where the Comets will get control. They'll put it at the 32-yard line where Selby stepped out of bounds. David moves so fast, the clock didn't even lose a second there. 21 seconds to go. Long day. Long game. A lot of points. I don't remember since the Toivola Meadowlands playoff game. I don't think we've seen this many points scored. That was uh, a few years ago. 
several years ago. Selvig turns, hands it off to Ryan Erkenbrack. Erkenbrack to the outside, gets the first down, and will be taken out of bounds at the 33-yard line. It's about a 14-yard gain for Ryan Erkenbrack who has carried three times for 24 yards, and with 14 seconds to go, the Comets get a first down at the Campbell Tint to Fairmont 33. Game two in our homecoming football doubleheader coming up at 7.30. East Grand Forks and Fergus Falls pregame at 7.15. Be sure to join us for that one. Brian Locken has all the news following the completion of this game. Erkenbrack right side to the 25-yard line, spins off a tackler and ahead to the 20 one yard line and that will be another 12 yard pickup for Ryan Erkenbrack and another Hillcrest first down 36 yards gained ball down to the 21 yard line of Campbell Tinta Fairmont 7 seconds David Selvig the quarterback brings the Comets up to the line Out of the I formation. Oh, the ball comes loose. Selvig couldn't get it, but Ryan Erkenbrack picks it up. And for being around the ball there, Ryan's going to lose some yardage on his final carry. But that's the way the game ends. And 62-26 is the final score on the board as the Hillcrest Comets wallop the Campbell Tint to Fairmont Rebels this afternoon in their homecoming football game, improving to 4-2 and two on the year. And we'll be back to recap it for you in just a minute. Well, lots of yardage, lots of stats. A couple of 100-yard 100 runner, 100 runners here for the Hillcrest Comets. 131 yards on 19 carries for Evan Newman. And David Folden, 125 yards on 6 carries. I'm going to have to do some real fast math here. And to give you some final numbers. I have Hillcrest for 413 yards rushing. That may be a school record. I don't know. It should be if it isn't. And let's see. How about another 94 yards passing? So according to my stats here this afternoon, that gives Hillcrest 507 yards total offense today. We'll see how close I come to what uh, Coach Rispruit has. But Campbell Tint to Fairmont hit 326. So we had 833 yards in offense today. That's a lot of yards. And we had 88 points scored today. That's a lot of points. Well, quite a day. And the Comets win their homecoming game 62-26 over the Campbell Tinta Fairmont Rebels. And let's recap the scoring for you, and then we'll uh, make room for Brian Locken in the news. And in the first quarter, Evan Newman scored with 2.41 to go on a 12-yard pass reception from Nathan Andrewd. Michael Levang from Andrew on a play-action pass for the two-point conversion to make it 8 to nothing. That was with 2.41 to go in the first quarter. Then with 1.02 to go, half-back pass. Paul Quam hitting Ryan Nordland, who went 50 yards for the score. They point after failed. It was 14 nothing. That's the way the first quarter ended. Then with 10.30 to go in the second, Michael Levang on a 15-yard pass play from Andrew made it 20 to nothing. Again, the kick failed for Hillcrest. With 8.46 remaining, Quam scored on a 25-yard run. Ryan Nordland caught a pass from Nathan Andrew to make it 28 to nothing for the two-point conversion. And with 527 remaining in the half, Evan Newman on a 10-yard run, and the two-point conversion pass from Andrew was complete to Matt Erickson, and that made the score 36 to nothing at the half. To start the second half, Campbell Tint to Fairmont scored on their first possession. They went 65 yards on 10 plays, including a fourth down conversion after the botched snap on the punting situation actually turned into a 17-yard gain. And then Craig Carter up the right sideline uncovered a 33-yard touchdown pass from Mike Hills to get Campbell Tint to Fairmont on the board, made it 36-6. But the Comets came right back, nine plays, 48 yards, and a touchdown by Evan Newman, his third of the day, a six-yard run. The pass attempt failed for the two-point conversion, so it was 42-6 to Hillcrest. Then Hills, the quarterback, broke free for a 63-yard touchdown run to make it 42-12. to The extra point attempt failed, and that's the way the third quarter ended with the Comets up by 30. In the fourth quarter, 8.21 to go. Ryan Nordland broke free on a 32-yard touchdown run to make it 48-12 to Comets. The pass failed for the two-point conversion. 
at the 516 mark. It was David Folden on a 35-yard touchdown run to make it 54 to 12. The two-point conversion attempt again was no good. Then with 322 to go, Mike Hills got his second touchdown of the ball game for Campbell Tint to Fairmont from 19 yards out. The two-point pass attempt failed, and it was 54 to 18 Hillcrest. With 254 left, Folden broke a 63-yard run for a touchdown, and David Selvig got into the corner of the end zone for the two-point conversion, and that made it 62 to 18, the Comets out in front. And with only 21 seconds left in the ball game, Hill scored from 10 yards out for Campbell Tint to Fairmont. Kelsch on a pass from Hills for the two-point conversion, and it was 62-26, and that is the way the game ends. So the Hillcrest Comets improved to 4-2, and two, and the Campbell Tint to Fairmont Rebels dropped to 1-5. and five. Hillcrest will battle Underwood next Wednesday in Underwood. We'll have that game at 7 o'clock for you next Wednesday night. You can hear it live on 1250 KBRF AM. Homecoming weekend continues at Hillcrest tomorrow with the junior varsity game. Hoffman Kensington will be here for a 10 o'clock JV contest. And our coverage of homecoming weekend in Fergus Falls continues tonight with the Otters' homecoming game against East Grand Forks coming up at 7.30. Pre-game time is 7.15. Join Roger Olson and me for all the coverage live from the Fergus Falls High School football field this evening right here on 1250 KBRF. Again, our final score from the Hillcrest Lutheran Academy football field. The Comets win their homecoming game 62-26 to over Campbell Tinta Fairmont.